Yo, what is up guys? It is Eric Kerber here. I am back on YouTube. It's been a little while, um, and this is definitely going to be a different type of content than you're used to seeing from me. Normally it's just been yo-yo videos and a couple missions trips here and there, but today we're going to be talking some tech because I just had something super interesting happen and I can't find the answer for it anywhere on the internet. So I took a dive and uh, I explored the answer and I'm going to share with you what I found. All right, so I just got the new 16 inch MacBook Pro. Previously, I was rocking a fully spec'd out 2017 MacBook Pro with the 3.1 gigahertz quad core, uh, the one terabyte SSD, the Radeon Pro 560 graphics, 16 gigs of RAM, all that stuff. And that was great. The one thing it didn't have that my new MacBook does have, well, there's a se several differences, but the biggest thing is the T2 chip that the 16 inch MacBook Pro has. So previously on my 15 inch, I would rock this guy all of the time. This is a Western Digital SSD 500 gig in this two and a half inch drive enclosure. So it's this WD 500 gig SATA 3 SSD in a USB-C enclosure. I would use this literally all the time. This used to be in my Windows desktop, but I have since pulled it out of there, used it in this external drive enclosure to externally boot Windows 10 on my 15 inch MacBook Pro. Would work flawlessly every time, plug it in, hold the option key, reboot the computer, show up as a drive, I would boot from this drive right here, we boot into Windows 10, could use it for playing games, all sorts of things like that without taking up space on my internal boot drive in the MacBook itself. But the T2 chip I think has ruined that. So I got my 16 inch MacBook Pro, I figured nothing on this drive has changed so it should work just like it did on my 15 inch, but I tried it and it will not boot. Essentially. What's going on is that it's just not allowing it to boot because it's an external drive and the T2 chip does not like that. Mac OS and just the Apple system has really locked down on that with the T2 chip. So I Googled it because I got, there's gotta be an answer out there. And I found that I had to make sure my boot security was off because there is this boot security feature in the little drop down um, that highlights if your computer will boot from an external drive or not, or if the computer will not allow it to. And mine was on all the way. So I figured, oh, that's gotta be it. So I turned it off, put it to absolutely zero boot security because I wanted it to let me do what I wanted to do. So I turned it off. That should solve the problem, right? And I tried it and again, it would still not boot up. And that was really a bummer. So got into some digging. I actually talked to one of my friends who's a technician at the Apple store for that. And he said, that there was two things that could be the problem. He said it probably was that the T2 chip only likes Mac OS because that's a certified program through Apple. Um, and just because it was straight Windows 10, it probably wouldn't work. So what he recommended that I do is I completely wipe this drive, which I did, wiped this guy right here. And he recommended that I install Mac OS Catalina on it first and then boot from this external drive and then do boot camp utility to put Windows 10 back on here. So that's what I tried to do. Um, I would completely wiped out the drive, put a fresh install of Catalina on there, and then did the boot camp utility test run. And the results were, were less than what I wanted. So what happens is Catalina installed, Catalina runs great on here, boots into Catalina off of the external drive just perfectly. But the big downfall is that I cannot get it to boot camp because in order to install boot camp, it asks that all external storage drives be unplugged. And since the computer is running off of this external storage drive, I can't just unplug it. Like that, that's not, that's not possible. So that is the brick wall that I've run into. And I have not found a way around it at all. I cannot make it work. Mac OS will boot externally, but I cannot boot camp Mac OS externally. So there's only one way that I can think of that you could solve this problem and that would be to get a 2012 MacBook Pro, because those are still supported on Catalina. You could put this drive, a two and a half inch drive like this one, inside that 2012 MacBook Pro, put a fresh install of Catalina on there and boot camp it while it's inside the MacBook, because then it would be the internal drive. And then from there, you could pull this guy out put it in a drive enclosure like this one and then boot it on the 16 inch MacBook. And the 16 inch MacBook would recognize the fresh install of Catalina, 
and the boot campable partition and it should boot up. That's the only workaround I can think of. Now, I'm not gonna go out and buy a 2012 MacBook Pro just so that I can make this work and play games externally. So unfortunately I caved, I did the normal boot camp procedure of just boot camping the Mac's internal SSD. It's eaten into my, my one terabyte of storage on the 16 inch, but uh, I cleared off some things when I migrated data from my 15 inch to my 16 inch, and I had enough storage space to make it work. It's still a bummer because I really loved having Windows separate from my Mac OS stuff because ultimately I don't really trust Windows 10. Windows 10 screwed me over a couple times and that is why I switched to video editing and Mac OS and using Final Cut Pro. Um, but I'm still a gamer at heart so I still need to use Windows to play some games and I just have to do that internally now because the T2 chip and the new security in Mac OS will not let me boot my external Windows 10 off of this guy. And now I couldn't even if I wanted to because I completely wiped it <laughs> so that I could, could try that experiment. So it has a fresh install of Catalina on here that works externally, but uh, yeah, no no Windows. If you're on the 16-inch MacBook Pro, you cannot externally boot Windows that I can find by any means. So if you have a workaround that you know of, um, drop it in the comments down below because I would actually be super curious to hear about it. Because like I said, I can't find anything. But um, based on my testing, pretty confident that I have reached the end of the road and that it's not going to work. So yeah, um, once again, this is Eric Kerber. Um, trying some different content on this channel because I think it's a lot of fun to be on YouTube. Uh, I'm probably gonna release some filmmaking videos, some photography stuff, um, just, just random things that I enjoy doing because YouTube is gonna be my new testing ground for um, just trying different content, see what works, see what doesn't work. Uh, I make videos for, you know, paid projects on the side and for fun and things like that. And YouTube is just gonna be a good place for me to test out some ideas. So this is my first video kind of back in this new format. Uh, I know it's not gonna be that great, but um, I just needed something to give me the push to get started. So this is my first video. There will be some more content coming your way. Um, tech related content, like I said, video photography stuff. Um, you know, if you, if you know me, a lot of things that I enjoy will be coming this way and it's just gonna be a, a random mash of content. So subscribe below for that if you would like and um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.